Crystal from the Raindance Ranch out at the Oasis. Um, I didn't come here yesterday and do watering. I've been stopping by every day, almost every day, and doing watering here and just checking on the plants and doing a little deadheading like you do when you have a garden like this with flowers. Um, so we've had a, some overcast, humid weather with wind and rains and so yesterday was actually a good day for me not to come and everything's holding up pretty good. These chrysandras are just amazing. And apparently these will turn into seeds down here. So this one looks like it's finished and I'm gonna try to get some seeds out of this bad boy because I love these. I love the brightness. Um, but anyways, so this is how everything's developing two weeks after installation. Looks like we're losing the pentas here. That looked good a couple days ago, but there wasn't flowers on it. And this was perfect a couple days ago. And it's starting to show some wear. You've lost a nice leaf here. Um, but two days ago, that looked perfect. And this had a flower on it that was still fresh, but now the flowers are dying off. Um, this is, uh, I'm a little bummed about this. I'm gonna probably move it into the sun because this had flowers surrounding it, but it just gets too much shade here. So I think I'm gonna put a fern here and move this pot over into that sunny location over there, which was kind of where I wanted it in the first place. Um, so yeah, we lost a few leaves on those caladiums. Um, but everything's holding up good enough. I would still call this a beautiful garden. I purchased some of these and were on sale at a nursery. I'm like, okay, I, I can pop a few of those in. somewhere I'm sure the mint is just whoa just love the mint the oregano is looking happy I ended up moving one of those parsley's over here and popped it in there was this one empty spot and it seems pretty happy there I like it so yeah the herb garden's just doing great I've had to deadhead some flowers few times yeah I don't these pentas super disappointment um I don't think anything here I had some flowers here that were like this one um, which I'm thinking it's a little zinnia that I purchased anyways um so that explains things because zinnias actually aren't really the best flowers for transplanting from what I understand although I don't have a lot of personal experience with them but these vinca kawaii's are still doing great the vincas are doing great the celosia is doing great so super happy and let's see how this pot's doing I've got some growth on these the loges. Um, this is probably be a good spot for the potato vine. Just can't have enough of that. Really love the growth on this potato vine. Notice, I think this gets more sun than this one and so much more developed. But I think it was more developed when I planted it too. It had a little bit of a head start. Still got this empty spot here. I was hoping this would fill in more of that empty spot area. Maybe if I go like that. Watermelons holding up. I saw a flower forming. Oh. There it is. Is it a male or a female? Those look like males. Looks like we might have had another one there. Okay. 
Okay. Loving the watermelon. The roses are even looking a little better. <laughs> I really want to try to get this thing to come back to life. Um, let's see if I can do that. These celosias. I don't know what the difference is between these celosias and all those other ones I got. That are like supposed to be the same ones, but the flowers don't come out with this vibrancy that you get on these. And I bought them from like two different places. I think those are the ones from Lowe's and they weren't the Monrovia kind, but I, I don't remember. So I'm a little disappointed with the sedum. But the Portulaca or the Moss Rose is doing okay. I kind of wasn't expecting them to bloom too much, but I was hoping we'd get a little more blooms on those. But the blooms on those Moss Rose just come and go. But I'm going to have to do something over here. If you saw my original video, I put this together real quick for an instant impact for a party, like before there was like nothing here, just like some empty pots. And some of the pots had plants in them like this geranium was here. And I thought, well, let's just leave it for some instant greenery, you know, because I wasn't sure how effective I was gonna be at making these pots look like they've been, they're established and grown in and flowing and all of that look that you like, that established look. Although I'm real happy with the way things did turn out. But I was really, you know, my client was willing to invest in all of the plants. So thank God for clients that are willing to invest in plants. <laughs> This one, I'm super happy with. Yeah, that looks good. This one, we lost one of the status plants right here. It just fizzled down. Yeah, that leaf, I think, is a goner. There was, I bought these status plants, and there was three in one pot, actually. I thought it was one big one, but it was three little ones in one big pot. But the good news is, is we have another one over there in the other pot with no blooms. And it looks like these two plants are going to make it. This one for sure is going to make it. But yeah, everything's looking good. Uh, you know, I'm a little disappointed with the caladiums. But they were a beautiful instant impact for the party. And when you think about it, you know, people spend thousands of dollars on like cut flowers for one, a one day event, like a wedding. And yeah, maybe they give them out and people can enjoy them for a few more days after the wedding or something. But at least like with these caladiums, while they don't, this one still looks pretty good. This one's looking a little sad over here. It was all nice and full when I got it. It was so beautiful. But you still get enjoyment. And a lot of these plants will continue to live. A lot of these are perennials. And with the caladiums, they have bulbs or rhizomes or corms or I don't know what. I think they're bulbs. And I think you can save the bulbs and they'll regrow next year. So I'd like to try that. Now that I have all these caladiums. Because <laughs> I've also got caladiums at the client's daughter's, her naturopathic clinic. Where I uh, am also working. So I've got a lot of caladiums. These polka dots though really happy with these. I had no idea how awesome these were. So, okay. Two week update at the Garden Oasis. It still looks beautiful.
This is probably the best view right here, I think. If you're looking across, let's go see what it looks like from the other side. And if you didn't catch any of my other videos about this, um, I am planning to do a wicking bed down there and there will probably be things like foxtail fern in there. Although I don't think I mentioned that in another video, I wrote it in the notes. I mean, okay, so normally when people come, if they park outside the property, they would walk up this way. So, this is what they would see. So I really need to get, I wanna get this area kind of nicely done. This whole area needs to be jazzed up. And yeah, it's just gonna look great when this gets done. Oh, love this thing. The fountain that is. Let's look at this view. Of course, there's those beautiful pots. This view is pretty awesome too. <laughs> Everywhere you look, it's a feast for the eyes and it's just gonna get better. All right, well, thanks for watching. Crystal from the Rain Dance Ranch out in the field at my client's garden oasis.